Well, I hope there'll be a much greater and higher profile for the work that cooperatives do in every single sector of the economy, uh, including uh, the more social aspects of the economy. I think often people underplay the role that co-ops play in every single aspect of our life already. Certainly within the Assembly we have the privilege of a platform where people tend to listen to what you say and one of the things I'll certainly be doing is encouraging our government to uh, hold clear to its commitments to actually embed cooperative principles within the programme for government, especially within the development of our economy here in Wales. We know that there are people out there looking for something different just fed up with the situation that we've got at the moment and there's also a lot of people who need to find ways to make a living uh, and to look after their families and the cooperative model of business owned by one billion people across the world looking after the needs of half the world's population in one way or another it's a great model of business it's about servicing people's need and not human greed what we've got to do is to make sure in our different ways that we're hitting all the right decision makers. So, for instance, here in Wales, you need to be talking with what with your with your um, assembly members. Uh, you've got a very supportive political environment here in Wales. I know that around the world, it's not it's not always the case. My role as president of the international movement is to get out there and talk to all the politicians, raise the level of awareness about what the co-op is doing now and what we can do in the future. The more and more that we can do to support people, and that means talking to all the key decision. -makers. Makers. So when they get together in this G8, G20, the United Nations, they're actually fully informed about our model of business and what it has to offer to help the world, to help in the developing world and to help those in need uh, in the developed world. I hope it will bring increased awareness of the benefits of, uh, of working as a cooperative business. We've done so for 30 years. It's been a very successful way of operating for us. Uh, it gives us great empowerment as individuals in the business um, and it delivers a, a level of dedication that I think helps drive our performance and our business success in difficult times. One thing I'd like is for co-ops to get the recognition that they deserve. I think they're sometimes seen as a soft option, um, something on the margins and I'd like co-ops in Wales to be put at the centre, recognised for what they do and put at the centre of policy. My hopes are that the Co-ops are seen to be something that is really fundamental, really core to public policy uh, here in Wales and right the way across the UK and indeed across the world. I would like to see the government here in Wales, possibly in, in the UK as well, saying no, the first choice is to look for a cooperative, to take them really seriously because they have enormous power in the economy. I hope that it will be an opportunity for all of us in the cooperative and mutual sector to raise awareness of what um, being part of a cooperative or mutual organisation actually can mean and also how successful um, the sector has been as a whole. Some of the figures um, we heard about international cooperatives really demonstrate that and I hope by the end of the year that more people will be interested um, across Wales in either joining existing co-ops or forming their own co-ops and mutuals and becoming part of the, the uh, more thriving economy of Wales. We want to paint the economy cooperative. Um, it's going to be a glorious year for everybody involved in cooperative enterprise. You know, the recognition of all of that hard work, uh, running a business, you know, can be like walking a, uh, a tightrope at times. And so this is going to be a year that shines a spotlight on cooperatives and all of the social and environmental and economic benefits that cooperatives bring. But also we're hungry, we're, we're, you know, we're energetic, we're in good shape at the moment. So we'd love to see the wider economy go cooperative as well. Mainstream businesses bought out by their staff, uh, kind of local businesses purchased by the people who shop there. Uh, let's take the banks and turn them into uh, cooperatives alongside uh, you know, principality and the credit unions that we've got emerging. Let's make the whole economy cooperative. Perhaps not all of it by the end of 2012, but cooperatives as always are ambitious. We hope that the cooperative sector will continue to succeed in the way it has and grow exponentially because we need decent jobs in a decent sector like the cooperative. We're working very closely with the co-op centre at the moment. Uh, we have representatives on the board of the co-op centre and we're going to work very closely as we have in the past to identify opportunities for worker co-ops uh, to take over where a firm is failing or opportunities uh, for new worker co-ops to be created. I hope in Wales in particular there will be a couple of things. One will be a pride for those people who work in the sector. Um, it's got a long history, the, the co-op group's been in Wales for 160 years, so it's got a long uh, and proud heritage and it will um, engender pride in what people are doing, but also then for the future, it will give people the impetus to consider um, establishing either a business, a, 
a business that will make money for them and their communities or uh, a business that will um, be for social good, whether it be a not-for-profit business, but it'll, be, it'll do good for the community and for Wales as a whole. In Wales, for example, where we're having a major fundraising um, opportunity, we're going to be raising money for a, uh, a female cooperative uh, that makes uh, honey in Ethiopia. Uh, and also Wales, as you know, is linked with uh, Lesotho, and we're going to be uh, raising money for a cooperative based in Lesotho as well. So we're ho hoping that Wales will help uh, co-ops elsewhere in the world. Well, I think you know, what I'd like to see is that we're all in a position when we look back on 2012 and think, you know, feel that we've achieved something in promoting greater awareness locally, regionally, nationally and globally about the importance of cooperatives and the cooperative sector to local and regional economies. Finance Wales, I hope, will be able to help in, in supporting real life case studies, you know, real life cooperatives, uh, employee buyouts, uh, where we will be able to provide funding to make those things happen. Well, I think the main thing is that uh, we'd like to see, obviously, in the current economic climate, it's very difficult times for people in all sectors, but on the other hand, it's a potential for, it, for people to come together and look at new ways, new economic models, new ways of working together. And obviously, I hope that International Year Cooperatives will promote those type of mutual cooperative approaches. Uh, both through cooperatives and other types of social enterprise and uh, community-based enterprise. What I'd like to do is to try to get greater links between the private sector in Wales and private sector businesses to help them support and nurture the development of cooperatives and also vice versa for cooperatives to get engaged with the private sector to help private sector businesses promote their social, ethical and environmental credentials.